I'm Zach from Liberty Way Realty in Lake Orion, Michigan, and today I'm here to talk to you about earnest money deposit. One of the basic elements of an offer when buying a house is an earnest money deposit. And what that is, is it's kind of like a security deposit. When you submit an offer, you include it in the offer, and what it means is that within 48 hours of a deal being accepted, you pay that money out to the brokerage of your representing buyer's agent. So what that entails is normally we see it around one to 2%. It can be larger, it can be smaller. Um, it's not technically required for a deal, um, but as a selling agent, I would never accept an offer that didn't have a earnest money deposit. So what happens to that money is you cut a check to the brokerage. So if you were working with me, you would cut a check to Liberty Way Realty. Um, it would have to be received and deposited within 48 hours of an accepted deal. Um, they would, the Liberty Way would deposit it into a non-interest bearing escrow account. And it would essentially serve as a prepayment towards your down payment, towards your closing costs. So let's say you had a closing cost total of about $15,000 and your earnest money deposit was $2,000, then that means you would need to bring $13,000 to the closing table. So one of the things we want to know about earnest, earnest money deposits is that it is money that is at risk, okay? And what I mean by that is if you were to break the contract that you have now agreed to in a manner that is not in, written into the contract as a contingency, the seller now can lay claim to that earnest money deposit and you could lose that money. So let's say, for example, three weeks into the deal, you changed your job and because you changed your job, you weren't able to um, close on the deal. Well, that is not a contingency and therefore you may lose your earnest money deposit there. If, for example, you, let's say you just changed your mind all right, well, you know what? Maybe I've spent a little too much or maybe this came along and I like it better. You may, learn, you may lose your earnest money deposit. In a general contract, in, a, in an average one, there are two contingencies. One is for the inspection. One is for the ability to secure financing. Um, those contingencies can change depending on the type of the deal. More can be added, some can be taken away. Um, but if you were to back out for those reasons, in theory, you should receive that money back. But that comes with a caveat that I just want to make sure is very clear. Um, let's say you did the inspection, you didn't like something in the inspection. You said, well, we're not going to deal with this, so we're going to back out. And you did have an inspection contingency in your contract. You didn't waive it. Um, then technically, you should be able to get that money back. But, but in order for that money to be released, um, Zach can't just go to my office manager and say, all right, write my client a check for that EMD so they can get it back. No, what has to happen is a mutual release needs to be signed. So I would turn in that mutual release to you, you would sign it, I would send it over to the seller, the seller would sign it, and then upon reception of that mutual release, a check can be written to get you your money back. That being the case, sometimes, sometimes sellers can be difficult. Maybe they're upset because you uh, backed out. They don't want to sign it. Maybe they're, they say, well, you know what? You didn't back out for a legitimate reason and we want to go after that. So it could be tied up in some you know, problematic circumstances. Um, but, but as a general rule, you should be able to get that back with no issue. Okay, so that's the basic ins and outs of a earnest money deposit. It's a security deposit paid upfront that holds you liable to the contract in case you decide that I want to change my mind or back out. Um, but most of the time, if you back out for, for an appropriate reason, a covered reason, you will get that money back. But it is at risk, and that's what I always want to communicate very clearly. Earnest money, earnest money deposit is at risk. Well, I'm Zach from Liberty Way Realty. If you have any further questions about this, feel free to reach out to me directly. My phone number is at the beginning and the end of the video, and it's in the comments. If you want to, if you're looking for an agent, I'd love to work with you. Love to show you some homes. Love to help you find your dream home. Any questions you have, feel free to reach out to me. Have a great week. Ready for home.